lawmakers now right here in our state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones live at the first alert desk breaking down everything that's happened in the last day and a half. What are we learning? Good morning. Well, even though Butler, Pennsylvania is more than 450 miles away from Connecticut, the impact of the assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump has rippled through every city and state in America. It's also prompted a few changes for politicians and government entities right here at home. Even though Governor Ned Lamont is in Germany for his previously announced economic development meetings, he is one of many Connecticut lawmakers, including Senator Chris Murphy and Senator Richard Blumenthal, that has condemned the senseless violence Saturday. The state capitol police have announced an increase in their security protocols. The heightened measures apply to both inside the building and around the capitol complex, adding that they are in communication with other state and federal law enforcement partners and will continue to reassess and update their security measures as needed. In the meantime, voters are still processing. I'm glad he was not killed. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with his politics, but I'm glad he's still alive. I hope the campaign is fair from this point forward. I hope people think a lot about gun safety and uh, offer more than just thoughts and prayers. The Republican National Convention kicks off in Milwaukee as scheduled today. Coming up, we're going to be hearing reaction from Senator Chris Murphy in the next half an hour. In the studio, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.